Hello and welcome to another edition of Azure Every Day from Pragmatic Works. My name is John Bloom and I'm a principal consultant. Today I'd like to talk a little bit about the PowerShell that exists within the Azure portal. As you can see, we're logged in and at the top ribbon, you can see a cloud shell. We'll go ahead and click on that button. And you can actually log in uh, using Bash or PowerShell. For this example, we'll try the PowerShell. So what it's attempting to do is, is log us in. So what I'd like to do first is to copy this command that'll try to connect to our tenant. The first thing we need to do is to uh, verify authentication. So we'll just go ahead and open a new window and then we'll go ahead and enter this code and then it should prompt us to log in and then we should be authenticated. Let's go ahead and click our uh, button here and then we're logged in. So as you can see, I'm connected and I have a tenant and a subscription. So now that we're logged in, the Azure portal is now available for uh, connection through PowerShell. Now, there, we're not connected to the laptop. You know, typically what we would do is we log into our PowerShell uh, locally, either using the Windows PowerShell or the Windows PowerShell ISE. And the ISE allows you to save PS1 files. That's the file extension for the PowerShell. And you can actually execute those at a later date. You can parameterize them. And you can also execute bat files. Well, now that we're connected to our uh, Azure PowerShell, just go ahead and run a few commands to test it out. And this should tell us our objects that we have access to. We'll go ahead and list our Azure groups. So we'll copy, we'll paste, and it should give us a list of three. There's our RG demo, RG demo, group, group. And then our third one is actually hosting this uh, PowerShell session right now. So that's kind of cool. The next thing, we'll go ahead and look for our resource group called this one. And we'll go ahead and paste that in there and we'll see what we get. So you can see that's our information regarding that, as well as you can pinpoint a specific uh, name of your uh, object. In this case, the Azure DAC Data Factory Demo PWC, we'll go ahead and paste that in there, and that'll give us some good information on that as well. So as you can see, there's a lot you can do uh, with the PowerShell. So a good example may be, well, I have a self-hosted integration runtime running my Azure Data Factory, and I'd like to go ahead and, and stop and pause that or restart it. Well, sure enough, you could do that with an Azure PowerShell. So it's a nice feature. It's hosted on the web. It's part of the uh, Azure platform. It exposes a lot of functionality for administration purposes, for monitoring, what have you, to get to the root access to a lot of that stuff. So I'd like to thank you for watching. If you have any questions regarding this video, please don't hesitate to contact us through the link at the bottom of the screen. Again, thanks for watching. My name is John Bloom. Have a great day. Bye.